I have like a clinical cl- question for you. Let's say, uh, you know, two, three o'clock in the morning, my phone rings. Uh, one of my friends or somebody that was in the military has had dark thoughts and is contemplating suicide. Uh, what do I say to them to uh, talk them off the ledge before I can get them help? I know obviously they say, whatever you do, don't let them hang up the phone. But like, what, what kind of words can I tell somebody in the moment? Um, well, one of the things that I tell people, and I don't know if this would be good in the moment because um, I don't know, I've, I've been on those calls too, and I think they're very hard. And knowing the person in particular, like what do they have to live for in particular, you can pick those things. But one thing I remind clients in counseling the most is that emotions, feelings are very fickle and they will change if you give them enough time or make some effort to make them change. So, you know, encouraging them to actually do something. So if like even listening to some music helps them feel better, that something as simple as that can help. Um, But that's, you know, sometimes we believe that our emotions tell us the truth and and that's not true they often are deceiving they tell us we have no hope when there is hope they tell us no one cares when people do care they tell us we're not loved when we are loved so it's it's you know if people can just get this don't trust your feelings especially if you're making big decisions definitely don't trust them because they can be very inaccurate and false and yeah so i mean that's more of a skill they need to just know that before but when i was um talking to someone on the phone once that was one of the things that they there was a show that they loved to watch that would always make them laugh and so um, we made sure that that was on and that, yes, I stayed on the phone and that there was somebody else there. And so all the, the basic things that, you know, but I will say that most of the time when people say they want to die, cause I question when uh, people who come to me with suicide ideation or have tried, you know, have attempted, or I, I will always ask this question because, um, I heard this in training once and I now believe it's true that do you really want to die or do you just, are you just tired of feeling this way? You just don't want to feel this way anymore. So if, yeah. So if you don't want to feel this way, we can change that because most people don't want to die. We have a natural instinct to want to live, even if things aren't perfect. You know, we kind of intuitively know that things will change. But um, yeah, that's the question that I've started asking since that training. And um, it has helped people a lot because they haven't thought of that before of thinking, oh, I don't want to die. I just don't want to feel this way anymore. Like, okay, we can work on that. And so that gives hope. And that's, that's all people need.